Hi guys, it's Alita here. So um, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Snapchat success and getting started. Unless you have been hiding under your desk, scared to come out and face the world, you will have heard about this little tool called Snapchat. Um, and if you're reading this, you're probably thinking about using it or you're already using it or have an account and want to take it a little bit more seriously to add to your marketing mix. The kids love it. Uh, in fact, millennials make up about seven out of 10 snappers. The adults, they actually love it too. In fact, I had a 50 year old grandmother come up to me at uh, a conference in Melbourne recently to tell me how much she loves Snapchat. It's quick, it's painless, uh, and the beauty of it is that it lacks the advertising prowess that Facebook has. Um, with the millennials being a big portion of these Snapchats though, it is a good idea to keep your snaps PG rated. So how do you get started? Just like every social media platform it is bloody time consuming and, it, uh, and it, at this point most people actually give up. Don't. Um, according to Bloomberg, Snapchat is closing in on its much larger rival Facebook with 7 billion mobile video views each day from its 100 million daily users versus Facebook's 8 million views and um, 1.55 billion um, users. So that gap is really closing. You have a few options for managing your post to save you some time. One is obviously you do it yourself. Two, you do takeovers with your staff. Or three, uh, you do takeovers with your fans, bloggers and influencers. I'll talk about that more in a second. To make sales from it, um, you need to learn by the best in the game. So Justin Bieber or Gary V, they use this pretty simple, simple formula. One, they make cool content that people wait for. Two, they build a following. And three, they sell stuff. Don't skip to step three, please. It doesn't work like that ever on any platform. You need to build trust. It is the language of the internet. So here are my four tips to get you started on Snapchat success. One, treat it the same, but different. This isn't a place to talk about the latest uh, sale that you've got in a traditional sense. So yay, 50% off, get installed now with a really strong call to action. Um, like you probably would, you know, on other um, social mediums and email. But this is a place to stay on brand and stay consistent. Um, this is a place to build trust, build relationships and be fresh and creative with your content. Robin Macy uh, is a social media strategist for a frozen yogurt chain in the US called 16 Handles and she uses it to go behind the scenes to test out new flavors um, and actually draws cartoon characters um, eating their desserts and um, so keep it fresh, keep it fun, talk about your products but not the way that you normally would. Number two is avoid the corporate cat. This isn't the platform, like I said, to talk about your latest promotions straight off the ranks. Let your brand personality shine in Snapchat. It's a place to be fun. Use your efforts to tell a story about your business, your staff, have a laugh. Um, another food chain in the United States called Squeeze In um, gives their <laughs> it over to their staff on the weekends to video doing food prep, secret handshakes in the hallway, customer interactions. Imagine that you're speaking with your friends um, and that you're having a really candid conversation. The key here is absolutely not to overcomplicate each snap, keep it short and, and um, tell a small part of the story and build that hype, build that anticipation. Number three is to do sneak peeks behind the scene. Take your camera into the production areas. Maybe you're launching a new product or service um, that your customers will love. Gary V again did an incredible job of this as usual uh, for weeks leading up to his new book launch uh, and um, increase, uh, you know, really built hype and anticipation and gave a 10 second sneak peeks. Give them a taste, build hype, drop in little gold nuggets along the way. Number four. Use the use a custom coupon code. So 16 Handles again did this neat little promotion on New Year's called Snappy New Year's. The promotion asks uh, their snappers to or their followers to snap a photo of them eating the yogurt in their store and send it to the official account. Then the official um, um, 16 Handles account uh, snapped them back in the future and gave them a coupon code to redeem in store. Finally. A little bonus tip is always be posting. So, um, you know, be consistent with everything that you're doing on there and keep it up. It's not one of these mediums you can let fly away. Um, people want it and people want um, the information all the time. 
The reason why it works, I think, is because it's not an invasive platform. Like I said, it's not doesn't have the advertising prowess that Facebook has at the moment, um, and you're really able to build trust in, in quick bite-sized chunks throughout the day. Um, it is permission-based, it's friendly, and it's exciting. So guys, I hope that these four tips really helped you um, and ho help you get started on Snapchat. Um, post in the comments below and let us know how you go um, with these tips and, and how you go getting started. If you have any other questions about Snapchat, really happy to answer those as well. Um, Till next time, see you then.